Hello, star seeds and family. Welcome back to Heaven's Secret YouTube channel. I am back with another message for us from God. This is a specific message for a select few of you all. So take what resonates and leave the rest. Let us go ahead and pray. Our Father, which art in heaven, holy is thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Lord, give us this day our daily bread and forgive us of all of our sins as we forgive those who sinned against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Father God, we come humbly before your throne, God. We thank you and we praise you for your grace and your mercy, for your love and kindness that is made new and fresh to us every morning, God. We thank you, Lord God, that we have a great relationship with you, Lord, that we can talk to you and receive information and downloads from you, God, concerning our life situations and circumstances. We give your holy name praise. We give you honor, God. We ask that you continue to open our eyes so that we can see what you need us to see and open our ears, Lord, so that we can hear what you need us to hear. Holy Spirit, I welcome you into this message. I ask that you speak through me to give a word to your people, to bring clarity and direction. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. <clears throat> All right, so this message is something else right here. Um, let's just say a lot of cats are coming out the bag. A lot of information is being leaked. A lot of uh, secrets are being eliminated, illuminated and exposed. So uh, with this message right here, um, this is a message that I really didn't want to um, get on here and talk about because it's um, quite messy and dramatic. But God wanted me to get on here and speak on this subject matter uh, because there are, he said, there are some people who need to know this information, um, need to confirm what he has told them in their intuition and also what he's been trying to get them to see. So, like I said, it will be just for a select few of you all so take what resonates and leave the rest all right so <clears throat> and this is for a divine masculine specifically there is a divine masculine that has been dealing with a karmic energy um, someone who it's only meant to teach them a lesson, not for them to be in a relationship with or in a marriage with. And this person, this karmic energy, they know that this masculine is not meant for them. But since they have somebody in their family, a mother in particular, or somebody that's a mother figure, it could be a mother, grandmother, or a auntie or like a friend of the family that's been around for a long time so they call them auntie so one of those particular people have spiritual gifts and they can see their seer they can see things uh, before they happen and but they use their their gifts for evil and so this particular karmic energy went to this mother figure to find out information on this divine masculine. So the divine, the mother figure told this karmic energy that this divine masculine is a leader, is going to be a leader, a standing citizen, um, going to be very famous and has you know a divine mission and also has a divine partner a divine feminine that he has a mission with and they're gonna 
do great things and this relationship this connection that they have divine connection is going to heal a lot of people and a lot of couples um across the world and so of course this information made this karmic energy very upset because they want this person for themselves they are lazy and um don't want to put in any work, don't want to put in any effort, but they want reward without effort. So since this person, since their that mother figure told them that this particular divine masculine is going to be very successful and very well, wealthy, um, so that's when they started plotting to see, you know, how they can take this person from their divine partner or cause them to never come into union with their divine partner or soulmate. And so this particular mother figure that gave them the information that is the seer that used their gifts for evil coerced them into telling this divine masculine that they are pregnant or that they were pregnant. So they faked a pregnancy and it was due to giving, it was due to this divine masculine giving them a a offer of a higher level commitment or marrying them because they saw them as, the karmic energy saw this divine masculine as a gold mine, a meal ticket. Uh, you know, so they can be like, you know, the housewives of, you know, famous people. Um, so that, so that this divine masculine will move forward with them and give them the offer and throw away their divine feminine or their soulmate connection. So they tricked this person into thinking that they were pregnant and the whole time they were not just to try to play on this person's emotions because karmic energies, they play on your emotions. Um, You know, they get you to tell them all your secrets, you know, all your um, desires and fantasies and they play on that. So if you have a a sex addic- addiction they will play on that and do sex magic on you or you know fulfill your fantasies like let you have um threesomes or group sex just to lure you in to to try to keep you and so this particular karmic knew that this masculine wanted to have another baby and that he was planning on marrying this person that he would have a baby with. So they took that information and used it to their advantage and lied to this divine masculine and told them that they were pregnant and they were never pregnant. And so when it came to the time where they should have been showing, you know, after four or five months or, you know, right at the point where they they should have been showing, like it should have been physical evidence of them being pregnant. That's when they lied again and told them that they had a miscarriage. And so now uh, these divine masculines, they are receiving a lot of downloads from spirit and having a lot of angelic guidance presence guiding them and leading them to information to put to connect the dots and some of them are receiving messages uh, letters text messages or they're finding this in the homes where they live with these karmics and realizing that what they told them the information that they told them is not adding up from what 
the information that they're finding in the homes or people are telling them or text messages or information that's being leaked. And so they're trying to connect the dots because the information that the karmics told them do not add up and the dates definitely don't add up. So this is what's going on, God saying that these karmic energies, they, you know, did spell work. They emotionally manipulate, manipulated a lot of divine masculines, um, played on their, their weaknesses and their addictions, and pretty much bamboozled them, tricked them into situations that was never meant for them. And now they're experiencing a lot of bad luck and karma and they're trying to figure out what is going on because these karmic energies put so much so many illusions you know in their mind in their in their crown chakra pretty much sold them a dream and they bought it and so now that these illusions and mental fog is being lifted now they're finding out that they were sold a dream and none of this reality wasn't real that the karmic was trying to present to them. And so God is wanting to let the divine masculines know who is watching this message and or listening to this message and have been trying to connect the dots that yes, they lied to you, they were never pregnant and they never had any miscarriages. And the dates do not add up. So a lot of, um, there's a lot of exposing going on, especially in this um, Pisces season. Pisces is a water sign. It deals with our emotions, things coming up to the surface. Um, They're finding out that these karmic energies were very, I would just, I would say this, their crown chakras, were way, way, way out of balance. And so they're figuring out who they were really dealing with. And some of them um, threw away their divine partners and cheated on them to go towards these karmic energies. And so they're finding all this information out and they, they are very heartbroken and sick that a group of people, you know, or their family members or people that they thought were their friends or somebody that could, they could trust have betrayed them in such a evil, sneaky, cunning, um, deceptive way. And so a lot of them are having a dark night of the soul and realizing what took place, what they came into agreement with and what they connected with that's out of the will of God for them. So we are going to continue to pray for them that they receive um, clarity and are able to get their, their lives back in alignment and balance with the will of God for them so that they can be blessed and finish their, complete their divine mission. So that's all I have for us today. You all be blessed and um, make sure you're meditating, praying, and spending time in the presence of God so that he can heal you and lead and guide and direct your path, show you what you need to see, and give you the information that you need to hear. Um, There's a lot of things happening in the cosmos. Saturn is going to be leaving out of Aquarius on March 7th and going into Pisces and Pisces is the the planet of you know intuition our dreams and things of that nature and for those of the people who have not learned their spiritual lessons um, it's not going to be pretty and then Pluto is going to be moving into Aquarius And that's the planet of power and transformation, death, ending things that no longer serve you. 
So we have a lot of interesting um, planet shifts coming up. And this year, this is the year of relationships. Yeah, so God is making sure that we get all of our relationships in alignment and in balance with his will for our lives. And so that's causing us to have to walk away from a lot of people and also to to meet people for the next chapter of our lives for where he's trying to take us. So be mindful of that. And I'll be back soon with another intuitive message from God for us. Until then, you all have a great night or day wherever you are. Bye.